Local 3 Sports with Jake Duran. If you've been paying attention to Northern Michigan University's hockey program lately, the number of player turnovers since the end of last season has raised some questions. I caught up with head coach Grant Patolny this afternoon as he addressed the speculation setting the record straight. We knew that there was going to be a big turnover this year. With the implementation of the transfer portal back in 2018, college athletics continues to evolve at a rapid pace. It affects all NCAA sports at all levels. We're still trying to figure this out as, as college athletics, you know, not just hockey. You know, it, there's 69 Division I quarterbacks from Power Five conferences in the portal. Um, we're figuring it out. I think the conversation has to start with a year ago today. Um, we had seven rising juniors that were going to become seniors. Um, we were Andre Gantos and Mike Van and decided to stay back. So now that puts that number to nine. And then we, we felt like there was three players that were going to become seniors or were fifth years in the portal. That makes that number seven, 12. Adding to the equation, Patoni says athletes during the COVID season were awarded another year of eligibility. Now, instead of coming into college hockey and getting the college athletics, you get you get four, you get um, you get five years to complete four seasons. Now you've got five years to complete five seasons, um, and a lot of players uh, are, are whether it's they're not ready for pro hockey, whether they're not ready to move on in life, whether they're not. Um, they, they feel like they have unfinished business, multiple reasons. They are exercising their right and their option of their fifth year of college. And a lot of times that's at a different place than where they competed their first four years. Each player has their own reason for entering the portal for a new destination. We've talked about that. We're kind of moving the program forward. Um, so when you talk about the portal, um, five of those guys that, that are in there are part of that senior class, so they're graduating. Um, there, there's some guys who, who want to play more, um, and there's some guys that are using the portal for what it's supposed to be used for, um, different opportunities, and, and there's a couple surprises. Patoni says portal issues aren't unique to NMU. You know, I, I think we're foolish if, if we think that this is a, uh, an issue unique to us. You know, it's, it's not. There's, um, th there's first line players at a Big Ten school that made the tournament. First liners that are in the portal. There's NHL first round picks in the portal. Um, you know, and and it's the portal's not all bad. Like that's the other thing. Like I, I, a year ago, we're one year removed from being 90 seconds away from a championship, and we had 10 players in, in, in the portal. The transfer portal isn't going away anytime soon. As any good coach would do, you have to adapt and overcome the challenges in front of you. For us, it, we we felt like. If we we're trying to, to re replicate that every year, trying to find the right pieces, the, you're, you're, at, you're just at the mercy of whoever enters the portal. So the idea for us was that we're, we're going to start with our own and grow our own. Changing the game off the ice will likely mean a different approach in seasons to come. Literally, 12 seniors out, 11 freshmen in. Like, there's a correlation there. And are we going to be young next year? Yeah, but um, I, I, I love the guys in that room. I love them. I, I think they're incredible people. I think they're very good players. Um, and we got a very good freshman class. And we're going to find some other guys in the portal. Coach Patoni addressed recent rumblings from the Wildcat fan base. A lot of it, too, is outside perception. Um, you know, perception that, you know, we're the sky's falling in northern Michigan. I mean, the sky's not falling. Like, we, we knew we were going to have a lot of turnover. We are prepared for the turnover. Um, did some things happen that you didn't see coming? Sure. But that happens at every program all the time. And it's how you adjust from that and how, and, and how you move your program forward. He says the focus needs to come back to the incoming class of recruits. There's going to be multiple NHL draft picks in this class. There's going to be multiple 20-plus goal scorers in the USHL. Um, there's guys who are leading their league in scoring, their team in scoring. There's, um, there's depth to it. There's, there's um, some, you know, some Michigan flavor to it. There's some um, European flavor to it. So, like, like you said, I mean, the we have worked really hard, you know, to to get this class to where it is, um, and, and that's on the heels of two other really good classes. So, you know, I like I feel like our program's in a great place going forward. 
While there are some vacancies on the team, Petulny will lean on the experience of his players sticking with the program. We have two fifth-year seniors, yeah. so we have um, Van Unen and Colby Enns, and those guys are coming back as veterans, um, seasoned players. And then we have had, I feel like this is the third good recruiting class we've had in a row, and now some of those guys are going to become juniors. You know, and, and um, you know, our freshmen last year are going to take a step, and there's, there's you know, some guys who are just kind of coming, and you know, there's going to be opportunity for role growth for them. Patolny remains optimistic for the future of the program. There, there's no change in, in what, what our attitude is. You know, it's, it's, for us, it's always anybody, anywhere, anytime. And it, that, that applies to right now as true as it's ever been. Um, you know, to, to be honest, I have a little feel, almost like my first year when I came to Northern, how there was so much newness to it. I kind of got that feel again, and um, I, I'm really looking forward to coaching this team next year. We'll be right back with more Local 3 News in just a few minutes.